Aging with grace, dignity, and pride. That's the mission over at the Center for Active Seniors, or KSI, in Davenport, which is why they're hosting a Senior Social Services Fair next week. Joining us with those details is KSI Director of Senior Services, Michael Gibson. Michael, welcome. Hi. Thanks for being here today. Um, it sounds like this is going to be a really great event. Uh, and you were telling me before we started the show today that this is the second year for the event, but it was actually pretty popular your first year. Yeah, we had a about 100, 150 people that came last year. Very cool, and of course, uh, room for more this year. Absolutely. Absolutely room for more. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about KSI itself, um, aside from the fair that's coming up uh, next week. Talk a little bit about some of the year-round programming activities and services that KSI offers, maybe for folks who have never been inside. Yeah, so we're a comprehensive senior service center, uh, so we provide uh, both uh, activities uh, for wellness at, at KSI, um, at, so uh, activities to, to continue aging gracefully, like mm -hmm. you said. Um, we also have Jane's Place, which is a, a day center for people who are having memory issues. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an opportunity uh, before they move on to memory uh, care mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we also have our senior advocacy uh, which is an opportunity to kind of access services um, in the community um, that they might need. Yeah, and that's kind of what, um, you know, this upcoming event is really all about. Like you said, advocacy, you host informational events. Social Services Fair is pretty much one of those. So um, tell us all about it. What can people expect at the fair next week? Yeah, so really, the Social Services Fair is about making sure that our seniors have access to uh, all the services that are in the community all at one time, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, some of those things are things um, that are unique to the aging process. Yeah. Uh, so things uh, like uh, senior living facilities and memory care. But some of those things are things that uh, that uh, might they be things that we all experience, right. um, like substance abuse or um, like... Someone uh, to help you file your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> um, just, just because we age doesn't mean that those things that we're experiencing we might not continue to experience. Yeah. And so um, it's uh, all those services that we might need throughout our life doesn't mean that we don't continue to need those services yeah. um, as we age. Yeah, kind of in that same vein, Challenges and needs, um, do you feel like there are some of them that we take for granted that maybe our senior community, our aging population, um, that we wouldn't even realize that they might need help with? Um, I, so I think that there are things that perhaps we don't realize uh, that uh, seniors um, I think one of the things that we may not realize seniors struggle with is um, that as we age, one of the things that kind of um, we most struggle with is isolation. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that's most important about something like KSI is that we find community, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, it, because um, as, as we age, um, a lot of the kind of things where you find community are, are not as naturally around you, yeah. right? Um, and so uh, finding something like KSI, like the Center for Active Seniors, provides some opportunity for creating that community around you. Absolutely, and um, I, I do think too, like there are things that they need help with. Maybe they don't have family around, or like you said, um, information access. I mean, I don't know how many, you know, seniors out there are super technologically savvy where they're able to just hop on the internet or access the things that I feel like we are being asked to access online every single day at this point. Doing something in person occasionally feels obsolete. Um, so, you know, this is a way that they can learn how to do all of those things and again, giving them a little bit more of that dignity that we were talking about. Um, now, do you need to be a senior to attend this event? Absolutely not. Um, so sen Senior Service Fair is really for anybody who might want 
resources yeah. in the community um, for themselves or for the seniors in their life, right? right? Um, so um, it's it's accessing services, it, particularly the people who are going to have tables are going to be focused on senior services. So uh, the people who are going to be hosting tables are likely going to be providing services focused primarily in that service sure. area. Um, but. Um, but anybody who might want services in that area or might be interested in services yeah. in that area should definitely come of course. and look at those. Yeah, and I'm and I'm I'm just thinking about, you know, if you're thinking of a parent or, you know, someone who can't easily make it to that event. Um, go with them in mind and you know see what you can learn and find out um, and here's that information for everybody senior social services fair next Tuesday April 23rd from 2 to 5 it is at KSI which if you do not know it's located on West Kimberly Road in Davenport and of course to learn more about what's happening at the Center for Active Seniors anytime you can visit their website KSI Seniors Org. Uh, Michael, thank you so Absolutely. much for being here today. Uh, it sounds like a great event, and uh, it sounds like it's going to be a popular event as well. So thank you. Thank you.